Good afternoon, good Sunday for everyone. We are here today for our usual Mere Finance show, episode, video, whatever you want to call it. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we're going to start talking today about airlines. Is it the first sign of a cooling economy? So let's start. When looking at airlines, um, we had just booked a a flight to to Argentina and the prices were pretty decent around six hundred dollars from the from Costa Rica to Argentina when usually the prices go for a thousand dollars or plus on average for the same dates in the past years by years I mean pre COVID twenty nineteen, twenty eighteen. So we understand Airlines are a low margin business, meaning they usually compete on price. There is not too much margin, capital expenses, extremely subjective to to demand and to commodities prices, in this case oil. But airlines have a big lag, big leading indicator in the consumer discretionary sector. And they are highly correlated with the hospitality industry. This means hotels, restaurants, spas. Um, of course, rapid worldwide transportation network, which makes it essential for global business. But not only that, it also generates a lot of jobs, both in international trade and tourism, because airlines are not just for tourism, they also create a lot of trade. So when you see what's happening in the airline sector, is concerning not only for the airline sector itself, but the whole economy. Why do we say that? This is jets over SPY. So this is basically the sector, the airline sector ratio in comparison to the overall market. You see in the last five years is all time low. It's around negative 63% less in returns than the S&P 500. Of course, price of stocks don't show the demand, don't show how the whole industry is doing, but this is a big indicator because even as we're going to see with an increase expenditure in consumer due to the trillions of dollars that the government provided to the economy for spending during COVID-19 with the increased amount of credit card debt, with the increased amount of travel doing to work from home schedules, it's really concerning that the airline sector is not doing well when you have all of this stimulus. So when the stimulus runs out, going to be trouble, but something's going to happen. So we see the ATF holdings, so you can have an overview. It's composed mostly of, you know, Southwest Airlines, which is the one, the cheapest one that we, that consumers use. And you have the big ones, United Airlines, Delta, and American Airlines. Between the four of them, they almost constitute 40%. Then you have Air Canada, Alaska, Elegance, Skyway, Hawaii, and so forth, which between all of these, they constitute around 60% of the ATF. And this is the concerning graph. So consumer price index for all European consumers. This is just for airlines fares in the US city average. Look at that drop. This is percentage change from year ago. It's an extreme drop, negative 23%. During COVID-19, if you check in 2020, in March 2020, it was around 25%. So. 29, 25 to 29%. So we're talking about the same level of drop that occurred during COVID-19. And this time we don't have a pandemic. This time it's basically due to demand and supply, which is what at the end of the day decides or determines prices. So it's very concerning. If you check, this is just in the index. So the one before is percentage change year over year. This is in the index. We're talking that we're going down to levels not seen again in the pandemic around March 2020. And even to levels close to January, uh, close to June 2009 when we were getting out of the great financial crisis. So this is, this is concerning because it shows that consumers will probably start spending less in airlines and soon services and goods will also probably see the same effect. So as we see 
every sector of the economy has benefited or had benefited from the trillions of exaggerated COVID money that was put in the system. Now, after two years, each sector is showing either extreme debt or loss of consumer activity. And what's more concerning for us is that prices among other sectors are still increasing, but I think they will peak soon. I think airlines is the first one to actually start showing the real cooling of the economy. And also for this specific sector, oil prices are above 85 per barrel, which is extremely inflationary. So I think airlines can show a tale of an economy that might not have a soft landing. Consumer spending is cooling down. Rates are raised, it's still pretty high up. So I think we're in for a interesting 2024. So let us know what you think and don't forget to subscribe to Mere Finance. A pleasure to be with you again.